article. I see this article headline. Stop pretending your racism is patriotism. And I kind of wondered, what is this about? I think it's an editorial by somebody, an opinion op-ed or something. And let's read it, and I'm going to react. A lot is going on in these divided states of America. It seems that each day a new mass shooting takes place. A far-right extremist group of self-proclaimed patriots seek to disrupt the rights of others different from themselves to protect their American way of life. Others create and spread false false lies and delusional conspiracy theories to justify their refusal to accept a a legitimate decision. They all have one thing in common. They are racist, bent on creating the Orwellian United States of America, justifying in the name, protecting the Constitution, justifying it in the name of protecting the Constitution to make a country where only they and others of their ilk dictate what rights anyone has, as long as you cower to their demands. And I can honestly say, I know that this this op-ed is coming from a liberal perspective, but you can actually apply that to Democrats and Republicans right now. I mean, both groups have that my way or the highway attitude. And that's why I'm giving you my opinion because I don't want you to fall. See, this article right here is meant to stir up emotions in liberals and to convert people to the liberal ideology. But conservatives do the same thing. Conservatives and liberals, it's just like cold and hot. It's only separated by degrees, but it's on the same level, different polarities, but the same thing. Individuals who look at others with different skin color, nationality, race, religion, and sexual orientation as the enemy because they are not like themselves. They look down on immigrants who work hard, save money, educate their children, and achieve success because of the American opportunity and dream, not despite it. People who believe the lies and false prophets shouting from the rooftops that they are left behind, while in reality they have made bad choices and forsaken education to be in their positions. These people take no accountability for their actions, for it's easier to blame others than to be accountable because they do it in the name of patriotism. Disrespectful neighbor. All right, so basically here's the idea. This person who wrote this opinion piece is saying that, I don't know if they're referring to white people or or if they're they're referring to these people who identify as conservative, right-wing, But they're saying that these people look down on people because of race, religion, nationality, and sexual orientation. And they also look down on immigrants. And they feel like they've been left behind by the future. And that's a narrative that the liberals try to paint. They try to paint this narrative that these poor, stupid white folks in the Midwest, in the South, that live in these rural towns, want to take the clock and set it backwards. These people are upset because the American dream is not only exclusive to white people, it's exclusive to anybody. That's the narrative that liberals want to paint. And liberals aren't really interested in genuine solutions to make the lives of minorities better. They want to defend immigrants, alternative sexual orientations, minorities because that's their base those are the people that they expect to go vote for them every single time and uh, at the end of the day this is somebody else's agenda this op-ed is someone's agenda somebody clearly has an agenda which is political you understand and the problem that we make as americans is we allow somebody else's agenda to become our agenda And they're very smart about how they do it. They focus on feeling, not thinking. Like in this article, they tell you they look down on people because of skin color, nationality, immigrant status. Uh, You know, they hate people who, who migrate to this country and work hard because they feel like they've been left behind. Now, I don't think there ever was a period in time where these so called rural, uneducated white people were in the front. They've always been in the back. They've always been middle class and they've always been disenfranchised. Rural communities have always been disenfranchised. If, I mean, these this, the liberal perspective is they've been left behind by the new world. But they've, you know, rural America used to be the heart of manufacturing. But years and years ago, that was no longer the case because those same jobs went overseas. So they, So this whole perspective that they're angry because they've been left behind. I don't think that's the case. I think that everybody has their own opinion about life. I 
mean, America is filled with about 350 million people and everybody has their own perspective and everybody has their own opinion. You understand what I'm saying? And we claim we live in a society where, where people should be able to express themselves. But you can't do that when there's an agenda at play. And that agenda is, we want you to vote for us. And instead of actually doing things to make your life better, we're going to, we're going to cleverly focus on your heart. We're going to focus on issues that make you upset. We're going to make you, make you think that the other side hates you. They're racist. They hate immigrants. They, everything that you, and they try to make it as if that's all a liberal is worth or, or whoever their, 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 uh, their, their supporters are only care about sexual orientation, immigration, and race. Like that's the only things on your mind is if you don't, as if you don't think about unions, labor unions, as, as if you don't think about infrastructure, as if you don't think about safety in your community, you know, they try to, they're clever at what they do, man, because someone could, could easily read this and say, you know what? They are racist. They don't want me to win. They hate immigrants. <laughs> and it's like, okay, that's somebody's perspective. That's somebody's opinion. Somebody who wrote this opinion piece thinks that everybody is racist on that side. But they're saying that these are the people who are not open-minded. These are the people who are painting everybody with a broad brush stroke. You know, these are the people who are putting people in boxes and stereotyping people. But the liberals do it as well. The liberals also do it. I mean, both sides do it. This is politics. The whole thing, the whole aim of politics is make the people feel instead of think. That way you can get them to go to the polls. You understand what I'm saying? They're trying to figure, they, they, they think they understand what a liberal wants. They think that they know, okay, a liberal only cares about protecting LGBT people, race and immigration. No, that's the agenda of the political establishment. An American citizen is more than just a liberal or a conservative. And everybody is, is a little bit more complex than just having three issues that they care about. But um, like I said, this is somebody's agenda. And what they're doing is they're promoting their agenda. And we can't ever forget that. You know, I think it's ridiculous for somebody to say those white people are not open-minded. Those white people are very stereotypical. They don't want immigrants to succeed. They don't want black people to succeed. But the people who talk about them, these liberals, are they, they're painting them with broad, broad strokes. You're the one saying, well, they all look down on immigrants. They're all racist. I mean, so the same thing that you claim they're doing to you and your kind, you're doing to them. You're doing to them. And in politics, why do you think there are only two choices? Liberal, conservative. Democrat, Republican, because they run everything and they control everything. If everything was really about free speech and free expression, we would have more than just two options. So obviously, these two parties are trying to cram everybody's mind into their camps. They're fighting for our minds, but we only have two options. So you mean to tell me an American citizen, the most free country and most diverse country in the world, all we care about, all we, all we think about, all we care about, the only issues that matter to us, what we feel as human beings, what we feel in our soul can only be manifested in two parties. 350 million people can only squeeze themselves into these two tents. So that's a game. Both sides are playing a game to win your heart. They're not trying to win your mind. They want to win your heart because if they win your, because if they win your heart, you will be acting off emotion instead of what's best for our country. Peace.